everyone, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Kubra and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be sharing my aesthetic, simple Notion setup. I've been using Notion for almost a year. It's so easy to use, useful. Today we're going to be looking at my Notion, how I organize my everything. I normally write down and plan my day in my planner that I have right here. But other than that, a lot of things are in my notion so we're gonna look at it i will explain you guys how to organize things there so without further ado let's get started so first thing you will see in my notion is my super minimal dashboard and i named my dashboard home i thought it would make me feel like i'm at home cozy um, and I have my main cover here this is a random picture that I found on Pinterest by the way all the pictures I used in my notion taken from my Pinterest boards so if you like any and want to use in your notion link to my Pinterest account will be down in the description now let's look at my pages like I do in everything I sorted them out into categories according to my needs for instance life section includes my mostly my feature goals, life vision, etc. Whereas work section focuses on what I need to do in terms of work, things I need to keep track of, ideas and more. In health section, I listed some recipes I want to try out and my long-term fitness goals. In the last one, I have three lists, books I want to read, movies, dramas I would like to watch and the things I plan to purchase, invest to. We're gonna go deep into every page and I will show you guys how I organize them all in a very simple yet aesthetic way. So now this was a quick overall look to my Notion setup. I don't know if you noticed but I added lines for each title in a soft pink color. The strange thing is in color options it's yellow so use the yellow background for pastel pink. Starting off with goals, I have my 2 years vision, 5 years vision vision in 2022 goals. I will keep my visions to myself but I will tell that I wrote down a couple of things I especially would like to achieve like finances, dream house, place I'm gonna live etc and my goals for this year. I guess I've shared them in one of my new year videos before but let's take a look. Um, since I prioritize my personal growth, my job, health, there are four sections. Here here are my intellectual goals and some topics I would like to learn and my career intentions, milestones I want to reach, health section is mainly about my fitness process and these are some items I would like to buy as an investment. Going back, I also wanted to add a mini cover image that will match with the vibe for every page. For example, this one represents a scene for my feature house. Moving on to the next, feature log. Feature log is basically a place for me to put in everything I would like to have in my feature, like experiences, skills, fun stuff, and as you see, I put a nice sunset image from my dream city to motivate and inspire me every time I look at it. Additionally, I went for the emojis that will match the vibe. So the first one is my one day list. These are the things I would love to do or plan to do someday in terms of work, glowing up, personal development, entertainment, and health. Last one is mostly for random things or thoughts. And the second one is my most precious part because in this page, I listed a limited amount of special experiences I aim to have before I die. Right now, I have 16 things listed and each of them is so important to me. Third one is quite self-explanatory, things I want to learn from from veganism to astronomy, everything comes to my mind is here. I personally love learning new things every day and expanding my knowledge. 
and believe that keeping your range of interest wide always gives you new ways to grow as a person. So this was future log. Last one is my routines. I decided to note my current morning night routine into my Notion as well as my weekly reset routine as my checklist. Um, that way I feel much more organized. This page can be the list visited page in my Notion since I know how my routines look like but having them written down somewhere is such a comfort to me and of course I easily update them when I need to. I wake up at 6 a.m., brush my teeth, do my skincare, drink water, meditate, read, do my face exercise, check my phone, and if I like to, I may do yoga or go for a walk. For nighttime, I do a simple skincare again, brush my teeth, read or meditate, these are optional, stretch my body, and go to bed. For weekly reset, I clean and declutter my environment, applaud my video video, do digital cleaning if necessary, go for walking, plan the next week and take a shower. Alright, we are done with the first category and next is the most used area within my Notion setup which is work. Since I'm a content creator, I prefer to track everything whether it's a sponsorship, my content schedule, affiliate platforms, that way I don't have to keep everything in my mind, I simply open the relevant page and see what's going on. So very first thing is my affiliates, if we click you will see a list of affiliate platforms that I plan to apply for and the brands which provided me their affiliate link. By using this kind of table, I can put so much information into one place, incredibly organized and neat. Like for example, I have the link here. If I make any money out of that, I will write down the amount into the pillar. I have my code, deadlines, if I published the content, I click here and for brands that I'm working with I also note which platform they use additionally if I wish I can add more pillars from here what I love about notion is it's super practical easy to use offers so many different options for you to organize your life but it's not complicated or anything like that and my photo for the affiliate page is of course an aesthetic image of of self-care products. Sponsorships is next. This time I went for a laptop screen showing and editing scene because it puts me into work mood. This page is specifically for sponsorships. Again, I track all the process here. Down I noted some potential brands I might work with in the future. Going back to the table, I believe this will be super beneficial especially if you're a content creator like me. So if you need to pause and integrate this to your notion calendar or whatever please do that so first thing is sponsors name info stands for the products i receive or service platform whether it's instagram or youtube as i said before product service what video title is gonna be rate publish date by the way if you wonder how i change the type of the pillar you can change here it can be a select option number date person email etc add length placement if shipping is on the way or delivered i also track if i did the shooting the approval came waiting or not required at all publish payment if i received if there is an affiliate program available quotes links if i arrange a giveaway with the brands i click here lastly i jot down their mail and add my notes to the end super comprehensive yet efficiently organized in my opinion 
I'm positive we are done with this page. Let's move on to my content calendar. I already mentioned how I manage my content calendar in my previous how I plan my Instagram content video. So you can check that out to learn more in detail. But what I do basically is I plan all the contents that I'm gonna create each month and put them into this calendar as short titles like post video name or real when I click I see my caption my hashtags everything ready to go and this has been really efficient at keeping myself disciplined and knowing what comes next highly recommend it I actually don't use my budget page as often since I don't track my expenses nowadays so for now it's only for reminding myself to pay some bills, do my regular savings etc but anyways let's see what we have first is my income resources how much i earned did they receive a quick note you can also change the currency for instance i get paid on dollars in terms of sponsorships so that's why you've seen the rate on dollars but i do receive my paycheck from adsense on turkish lira if I have a goal, I will write that down here and something I recently discovered, you can see total amount down here by choosing sum which stands for summary so you don't need Excel to see it calculated every time. Expenses, I live with my family so I don't have rent or many bills here but I do have phone bill, Wi-Fi, Spotify, groceries, things I may potentially spend money on all listed I track these two but I don't do the detailed part for now like how much I've spent how much remaining blah blah last part is savings I currently save for my vlog camera I pay my education loan regularly and if I wish this is for extra savings I believe everything is quite self-explanatory so that's pretty much it for the budget page content ideas mainly for the inspiration technically my idea bank not gonna show wall you can see the categorization in every step though like lifestyle routine health inspiration fitness finally we mentioned all the pages within the work section now time to check our lists one reading list aka the books i wanna read i don't know how many i have in total it can be 200 300 this is a giant list because every time i hear a recommendation i add to the list and at the beginning of every month i pick three or four books and change them as reading for April, it looks like I already finished The Secret and still reading The 5am Club, The Rules of Life and How to Win Friends and Influence People. Typically for each book in the list, other than the status, I add the author, type category of the book and a link where I can purchase it. Another useful feature of Notion, you can search a book by its name or the author's name to find it or check if it's on your list and you can easily add a new book without going to the very end of your list just like so two watch list I'm a huge fan of dramas and movies as an introvert and one day I said why not make a list of everything you would like to watch this way you want to watch something you don't have to search for hours so I came up with this list so first is serious dramas and all the integrated images you see are coming with the links I add which is amazing so pleasing to the eye movies documentaries and the ones I wait for. Before I forget, let me show you which option you choose while adding links. Tap plus. If you scroll down, you will see numberless options to add texts, files, databases. Here under the media title, you will find web bookmark. Click, paste the link and it will appear here. 
My wish list is a list of the material things I would like to purchase and to organize it more efficiently. These are my categories like health, beauty, if possible, I add their link. It makes it easier to find, by the way. Clothing, accessories, home, kitchen, tech and stationery. I think it's pretty handy to note everything you want to buy someday because after a while you totally forget about it and even though they're not urgent, they're still my needs. We are nearly at the end of this notion tour. Last section is health. First page is for recipe ideas. Sometimes I literally don't know what to cook, what to snack on, and I need inspiration. So if I found a recipe online that I like, I make sure to have them on my list, ready to try whenever I want. By the way, you can integrate links to notion on YouTube or other social media platforms as well. For example this is youtube instagram youtube youtube another feature that i love i can combine everything together last but not least let's check fitness since my workout program changes so frequently and i like to track it on my planner it's not here but instead i have my current focus skills i aim to have strength exercises and my long-term appearance goal. As you probably have guessed before, this is the exact look I'm shooting for because I like to visualize things. So that was everything. Hope you liked this Notion tour video. If you want to learn more about how to use Notion more in depth, like technical stuff, I would love to make another video on that. As always, love you all and see you in my next video. Picture of elegance, riding on the star phone, number such a